is. And well, he should be. He's won all four rounds, and it's been a one-way beating. Neymar Chavez continues to stand, getting the instruction from Buffalo Martin, round five. It's been my experience, and we talked about Chavez's old back injury. You might have it again. It's my experience with a back injury that you sit to relieve the tension, not stay. Well, everybody, you know, everybody does what feels good for them, and apparently this guy feels good standing up, so you can't argue with that. I wouldn't question anything. He didn't know it. In the back of his trunks is written, to believe is to have power, and I do believe he believes in himself. And I do believe he has power. Creer es poder. Right. Got a lot of poder. And Terrence Ali having a hard time off shutting it. And now for the first time of the fight, things settling down for a few seconds, but it probably won't last long. You might wonder a little bit because Chavez is a notoriously slow starter that they forced a quick pace like this. Would that, would that really be possible to throw him out of his game a little bit? I doubt it, but it's possible. In the meantime, Jared Zale is still standing there, still throwing a lot of punches. It's not just one or two. He throws them in bunches. And uh, he's not doing bad for the punishment he's received to the body and to the head. It's amazing he can throw punches with that kind of speed. Now Chavez just bobbing and weaving. That can't help his back any. That reminds me of the story with the spider and the fly a little bit. He's looking to suck him in there and get do some damage. Little possum. There's the jab by Chavez. We're seeing everything in his repertoire. Lunging right hand that Chavez smiles at. Chavez seems to have decided to take this round off rather than finish him off because he certainly has been easy on him compared to what he's done up to this point. I actually, give turns around. I'll lead this round so far. So far, there's only about a minute left. What was the last time we saw Chavez actually lose a round? I can't remember. Meldrick Taylor's fight, he was way behind. That I remember. Combination by Ali. Well, he's given this round away. I mean, he's given him a Christmas present. He's hardly thrown anything and, and let Terrence Ali get the brave. Or get braver because he's brave enough as it is. Part of the problem there is if he gets too brave, that could be the instant knockout that Chavez may be looking for. Less than 30 seconds remaining, round five. Look out, Ali's off balance, and Chavez trying to take advantage. What a turnaround after Ali was winning the round. Yeah, he got too brave and he got too confident. All of a sudden, that Cobra uncorked that punch. Like a shark at the sign of blood. Whoa. Final seconds, round five. Back comes Ali, and Chavez finishes with a flurry. I'll take a look at how Chavez just all of a sudden woke up and gave him a wake-up call. This is what it's like at the very end of the of the round, and he took the round by giving this kind of shellacking to Terrence Alley, who'd been doing pretty good. It's amazing he didn't go down, Bobby. Take another look you, at that. Again, Terrence Ali start he started to get lazy. Chavez let him win some round, win part of the round, laid off on his punches, relaxed. As soon as he relaxed, look at him, push him back, whack him, timing, and the shots are perfect. Well, we said at the outset, it's, we enter round six, that Ali always finds himself in tough fights against undefeated fighters, champions, always gives a good showing of himself. Tonight, no exception. Chavez knocks him down. Chavez mad because they sent him to the neutral corner. He's going to the wrong corner. I think it's all over now. Yeah. Terrence Ali is doing his best, but I think he's not going to make it. Ali's in all kinds of trouble. Ali's saying, don't wave it off. It's not over. He was fighting back. 
I'll tell you what, he was fighting back and he stopped it while he was in the middle of a combination. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's uh, something that he should have done, but he no, did he was do it. Indecisive. That did not seem kosher. Carlos Padilla stopping the fight when Ali was coming back. Yeah, he, he, he reacted too fast. He, he was indecisive. He went to do it, then he didn't do it. Then Ali, Ali's coming back. You can't stop it then. And by that time, Chavez pulled the cork and said, okay, I won. I think it was influenced by Chavez's yeah. dramatics at the other corner. And he could have been punished by that because the fight's really not over until the referee says it's so, over. I mean, he's, he was welcome to go jump on the rope, but the other guy could have gone over and popped him just as good. There was serious indecision on the part of Carlos Padilla and something that we've always taken a look at. The under and over for this fight, the will go, won't go, was five and a half rounds, and we <laughs> missed it by about a minute. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, Bobby. What I do know is that, that the indecisiveness of the referee caused Terrence Ali to be not to save from a knockout because he lost the fight, but he was on his way to get knocked out. So you can't really argue he was he was like out of it. Right. We're not saying that Ali was on his way to winning this fight, no. But you have to wonder about that judgment. Well, let, let's take a, just keep your eyes on Carlos Padilla. This is a knockdown. This is the first one that got him in trouble. Now, this is not the Carlos Padilla thing. Let's just watch it. Now, you see that the combinations are, are devastating. When he goes down and, and comes back up, he still, is full of, he still wants to fight. He's not, he's not completely out on his feet. Then comes the end of the fight, and now is when you take a look at Carlos Padilla. Keep watching Padilla now. Well, you see him. He's in the corner. He's hurt. He's getting hit. He's getting punched. He's trying to get away, trying to use the ropes to hold him up, trying to slip. So, see, but he's well, coming he back fighting. He starts punching back. Padilla was, said box. He put his hands together and said box. But because uh, because Chavez was under ropes, he said, well, that's enough. Let's put it anyway. Yeah. Because he did put his hands together and said box. Yeah, he did. Because the guy was coming back. Uh, Terrence Ali was coming back to box. However weak, however he was, he was coming back for more. So that was a case of indecisiveness. I think it, it didn't make any difference. He's, he was going to get beat. He was going to get knocked out. But it's one of those things that uh, affects the, the fight game in a little way. It's too bad it happened. But no question about it. Chavez in control the entire time. And if there's any note to people that like Minutia, he sat down between the rounds that time so it must have helped him. All right, another great performance by Chavez on the way to a magnificent night in September. Chavez now 87-0 with 75 knockouts. And tonight making his 11th defense of the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, a title he won from Roger Mayweather back in 1989. Meanwhile, Terrence Ali... Falling to 58 and 2. But I didn't like the way the referee did. And the end of his eighth fight winning streak. Julio Cesar Chavez doing it again. in the middle of an exchange. And we are set for the official announcer. Let's go up to ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Seconds in round number six, referee in charge Carlos Padilla stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still WBC super lightweight champion of the world, El Gran Campeón Mexicano Julio Cesar Chavez. Well, you hear the mixed reaction. Of course, the Chavez fans are celebrating, but others are questioning the decision-making of referee Carlos Padilla. Let's take a look at the knockdown first, Bobby. So here you see him, head and body, head and body, comes over the top, digs one underneath, comes back up, right hand, left hook, mixes his punches, head and body in combination, straight around the complete fighter. When you're in trouble, that's a man that's going to finish it. And now the end of the fight. Well, turns his back to the corner. He's hurt. He's going to use the ropes to spring off of and help keep him up. He's trying to duck some punches. He's hurt. He's hurt, but he comes out swinging. And Padilla here waves him and says, box. But because Chavez is already celebrating, he feels compromised because he stepped in prematurely. And you see the reaction on the face of Terrence Sali, the challenger. So here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, ready for post-fight reaction. This could be interesting. Let's go up to the ring of the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Was this much harder than you thought it was going to be? Realmente yo estaba haciendo mi pelea. No quería forzarme demasiado. Yo sabía que yo podía ganar el cuando yo quisiera. Pero hay que reconocer que es que es muy valiente. Y lo felicito porque aguanta muchos golpes. Was he in doubt about the stoppage? The referee seemed indecisive. 
paró? ¿Cómo tú piensas de eso? No, realmente el refiere para mí no estuvo bien. Ali lo golpeaba bien y me decía que lo golpeaba abajo. He says that he, the referee kept telling him he was hitting Ali low, but he wasn't. Para mí no estuvo bien la pelea, para mí estuvo bien parado. Ali estaba muy, estaba muy lastimado. The decision to stop the fight was good because he could see Ali was hurt, but he didn't like the way the ref handled it. Ali es muy valiente, pero no tenía con qué ganarme. But he didn't have what it takes in order to be. No tenía caso, no tenía caso golpearlo. One, one last, one last question. He was always standing up. Now he sat down. <laughs> he sat down. The, the, did that give him the energy? No, no. Me, me, me paré porque mi ref, mi, eh, mi hermano Rodolfo y Don Cristóbal me sentaron a fuerzas. Because they made him sit down forcefully. He didn't want to. Quiero decir que esta pelea se le dediqué al señor gobernador de Culiacán, Sinaloa, ingeniero Renato Vega. Porque me prometió darle un gran apoyo a todo el deporte en Sinaloa. Una... Sinaloa y también en, en, en memoria de, del gran señor que ya se nos fue, don Mario Moreno Cantinflas. Un saludo allá en el cielo. Mario Moreno Cantinflas, y un saludo y felicitaciones a todas las madrecitas. Les mando un beso y un abrazo totalmente de México y a mi madre. Ship to all of the mothers in the world, especially his mother. All right. Now, you, did you think that fight was correctly stopped? Well, I've been on the road since you know, my career. 40 years now, I've been fighting in people of town. Chavez off the judge, the referee, and everybody in his size. He caught me with good punches. I saw, I, I, I'm in good, very good shape. I'm in one of the best shape I could. I know where to take everything he had to offer. I come on in a later on. The referee stopped the fight premature. What did you think of uh, the referee Padilla stopping the fight? Uh... The referee stopped the fight premature. I was hurt before. He never stopped the fight. All right. When Chavez hit me, I had all my senses. He didn't stop to ask me no question or anything like that. We're now standing. The fight. We're standing in front of uh, Carlos Padilla. But he, it looked like it was a little indecisive. What did you feel about it? No, uh, it just looks like that because at the start of the last round, he got once and he almost uh, went down. So I know he's hurt. He's been hurt all, uh, you know. And I was just waiting, waiting. And he got, uh, you know, more uh, punishment. And when he stepped step, step into stop, he went forward. That's what. So I said, no, that's it, that's it. That's what I said. All right, well, uh, in, in, in any case, you, you were losing the fight. You were on the verge of an eye. We can't argue about that. Maybe it was indecisive, it's, it's but you over. fought a valiant fight. It's not over until it's over. Well, it's not over in this case... I'm losing the fight. In, in, I'm not going to come off with knockout challenge. Terrence. Ali time! Ali time. Uh, you, you, Ali did, you did a good, a good, a good show. I lost my dollars. I lost my dollars. All right, and we go to, of course, Whitaker now. Whitaker. 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 Over here. Whitaker. 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 Whita